So today I want to show you some network analysis with Wireshark. This is a little training that I've been doing and I want to show you how I answer these four questions. We're going to do just part one. So let's go. Which protocol was used over port 3942? So the first thing we need is the information that we need to analyze. So I already have my packets here in Wireshark. And if you see here, we have more than 9,000 packets, which is almost impossible to analyze this without filtering. And that's the first thing we're gonna do. So we go to statistics and then endpoints, and then we go to TCP or UDP, right? We don't know where we're gonna find this port because we don't know what protocol it used. So I'm just gonna organize them and start looking for the port I need. So we here, we see here port 80, 443, and then it goes to 53,000. So it's not here. Let's write UDP. Uh, I think it's already organized, so it's not. So we organize it, and then we see here port 3942. That's what we need. Once we have that, uh, we go right click, apply as filter, and this is gonna filter just by this port. So we click select it, and then we go back to our packets, and here it is. So we can see that port 3492 is using SSDP protocol. That's the answer to our first question. Second question is, what is the IP address of the host that was pinged twice? So to answer this question, we first need to understand how the ping command works. It uses ICMP protocol, so that's what we're gonna look for in our packets. So we just clean our filters and then let's type MP to see what we get. There we go. So we can see here we have six packets. If we see the first two, they were not successful, unreachable, but we have some here. So we see two, you see, two destinations with the same IP address. The first one was a request. The second one is the reply to make sure there's a connection between those two hosts. So in the request, we need, this is the, the host and this would be client. So you see here, this was the one that was pinged twice. We're trying to ping AG44 from 192.168.17. So our answer is IP AA44. That would be our answer to our second question. Third question, how many DNS query response packets were captured? To do this, again, we need to filter. I understood that filtering is key in Wireshark. I'm still getting used to it, learning, but that is key in this process. So to do that, first thing I thought was just like filter, filtering by DNS. However, we need to understand that we only need responses. So we'll see what we do is clean filter, type DNS, just DNS. If you see, we get everything, responses and requests. So that doesn't work for us because we only need responses, right? So to do that, we just type DNS, uh, flags, uh, response, equal, equal, uh, can be true or one. I like to do one, it's basically the same. I like numbers, so one. And then there it is. We have only our DNS responses. And if we go here to the bottom, you see that we have 90 packets. That would be our answer. Uh, we have uh, 90 DNS responses in this file. And then what is the IP address? What is the IP address of the host which sent the most number of bytes? Again, I'm sure you know, but filtering. We need to filter again. So let's go here. In our filter let's go to statistics and points and then we have five different tabs here where we're gonna go to ipv4 why because ipv4 shows the ip addresses that we need it depends if your network is set up with only ipv6 addresses but in this case we can see that is mostly ipv4 so we're gonna do ipv4 and we need to know we need to know let's see what we need to know uh, the IP address of the host which send the most number of bytes. So to do that, we go here, 
so if you see here we have different bytes columns it says bytes transfer bytes receive bytes these bytes if you filter by this one it shows both transfer and receive but we only need transfer bytes if i'm not wrong the one that send the most number of bytes so we only need this one like transfer we don't need receive so we're gonna filter by this one and then it shows once you filter correctly it shows that the ip address with the most number of bytes sent was 115.178.918 we see we have two megabytes and the rest are less thank you so much um, we'll do part two next and see you soon